Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Tavern Master. So this is a uh, about a year old, it came out in November last year. It's currently sitting about £12 on Steam. No idea what that is in, in, in dollars, but £12 on Steam. It's a decent price. It's a it's a fun little game. You you own and build and manage and run a medieval tavern. So let's dive in. Uh, yes, I don't really care. Let's go. Okay, so difficulty level. We'll we'll play it on normal. I think. Uh, what do we got? Everything's balanced. How it's meant to be played. So yeah, we'll go for that. Welcome to your tavern. You will be in charge of managing and growing your business. Uh, we'll do all the move you around things. Thanks very much. Yeah. Okay. Great. Right. So we have a wall missing, as you can see. So we will just close that off, like so. Uh, we also need a door. Well, yes, that would help. Uh, they want me to put it there, so we will do. We'll probably redesign this anyway. Uh, and they want to put a window in there. So there we go. We only have one table in our tavern right now. That won't be enough, so let's buy one more by clicking on the dining room button below. There we go. And we can put in a table. because so obviously we need tables to serve customers. The more tables we have, the more customers we can serve. Um, I'm going to put it there. Wrong position. Okay, yeah, fine. There we go. It's there, right. We do the... Uh, uh, tutorial stuff first. So, we can see here that the, the lights don't cover these two seats here, so we're going to need to put in uh, a candle to cover that. Now that we have enough seats for our guests, next step would be buy beer to serve. Yes, it probably would be. So we click on the bar. So we've clicked on the bar, we need to select our beer barrel, and that buys it. And then we need to fill it with beer. There we go. We now have beer and water for sale. We're selling beer for three coins, water for two, uh, which is all we can do at the moment. So we have a people to sit, uh, places for people to sit. We have drinks to serve. We need staff. So if we go over to our staff button over here, we can hire uh, a bartender. Who have we got then? Right, you can carry five drinks at the moment. You gain experience faster. Uh, you gain experience faster, can carry four drinks at the moment. So we've got all their, all their stats here, so how many drinks they can carry. So they can carry up to six drinks, generally. Uh, their speed when they're not carrying anything, their speed when they are carrying something, and then the speed at which they pour drinks. And then we've got their salary at the bottom. Uh, they each have a trait as well, as we can see. So these, these two at the top here uh, gain experience twice as fast as uh, everybody else, which is useful. Uh, this guy down here, Abram, attracts 3.5 more customers every day, which is nice. But Johnny is our hero over here. They can only carry two drinks at the moment, but they have the potential of carrying eight drinks. So uh, he's also quite speedy when he's got uh, drinks in his hands. But we will definitely hire Johnny, I think. There we go. And I will hire ourselves a waitress. Again, we've got um, how many drinks they can carry at a time, their speed, uh, climbing stairs, so when we get a second level on the uh, tavern, we'll be able to uh, run up and down stairs more quickly. Then the tips they receive, uh, and their salary again. So the trait here, we've got uh, twice as fast for experience, extra tips uh, for every drink. In fact, all these three are extra tips. Um, we don't have anyone that can hi uh, carry more drinks, unfortunately, so let's have a look. Um, I'm going to go for Rosalind, I think. I'm going to go for the experience. We'll get Rosalind leveled up reasonably quickly. Uh, and if we close this down, we've prepared everything we needed for the guests to start coming in. Before we unpause the time, let's see how you can unlock new stuff for the tavern. And we have our research screen. So upgrades are researched by serving different types of guests, and you can see the cost of research on the left side of it. For a kitchen, we need to serve 25 common guests. So if we click on... Uh, uh, yeah, our only option right now is to research the kitchen. Uh, so click on this button to start it. After the kitchen is finished, three more upgrades become available. So 
So we can see we need 25 regular customers to open the kitchen. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, the different types of customers you can see there. Common, rare, gold, and royal. So as we get further along, you'll see that the various things need... Uh, that needs rare, that needs rare, that needs rare and gold. Uh, rare gold, uh, gold and royal for the f uh, extra fireplace grill. But that's, that's, you know, all of this is some way off at the moment. So we'll start with our kitchen. A number of guests per day up here tells you how many people will come into your tavern on average every day. Buy decorations and upgrade your tavern to increase that number. Easy enough. We're all set and our tavern can be opened. Click the play button to resume the game and wait for customers to come in. So we'll do that. My final tip is if you watch out if there is enough space to sit. If all the seats are taken, buy more tables and benches. Good luck. Okay, and over here we've got the quests that we can do. Um, these things give us extra bits and pieces. So you can see it's coins, uh, various bits of decoration and things like that. Recipes as we get further up. Uh, additional staff and things like that. So, basically by completing these quests, we move this target forwards and then we can collect those as and when. Okay, so at the moment, our tavern is pretty dull. We have 248 cash. Um, but what I will do first is I'm going to rename our pub. There we go. Welcome to the Fool's Rush Inn. I know, I love a good pun. Right, let's have a look. How are we doing? Oh, I can't move the camera around. We're all going crazy. Hang on. There we go. There we go. That's good. Um, okay, so we've got our two tables nearly full. Our waitress is seemingly coping fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to risk putting in another table and I will put it in right behind that one like come on there so we'll be able to fit more uh, customers in now so if we speed up time a little bit uh, we'll rush through to the end of the day because I don't think there's really much we want to be doing yet okay so half seven in the evening uh, it's telling us over here we can hire more staff if we want to uh, but we can also level up Rosalind. So let's do that first. Okay, so her tips are maxed out. We can't put any more in there. Uh, we could increase her speed. That would be useful. Um, our barman at the moment can only carry two drinks at a time. So... I'm going to increase her speed, her carrying speed for the moment. Uh, we will say don't bother with hotel or takeout or indeed food at the moment because... We don't have anyone uh, making food. We don't have any rooms for the hotel and we can't do takeout. So we'll we'll just wipe all that out first. We'll prioritize drinks and then cleaning is a secondary importance. And there we are at the end of the day. We lost 1,013 coins. Uh, that's obviously because we were doing a lot of building and, and things like that. Um, we had no angry customers, which is nice. Uh, we had an average occupancy of 87.5%. That's not too bad, but we did put in an extra table. Um, so, we shall spin on to the next day. I don't think I need to refill anything. No, let's go. Next day. We're likely to get 20 customers today. In theory, we should uh, hit our research target um, fairly quickly. There we go. So then a beer. Right, we will... Spin on until uh, until that is unlocked. Okay, afternoon time, and we have unlocked a level up for Johnny. So we'll do that, and we will increase the number of drinks he can carry. That's going to be most important for him. So we'll get that on the run. We've nearly served enough customers for our uh, kitchen to unlock. We need two more. So that shouldn't be long at all, hopefully. Um, oh, I can collect some of these, so we can, we've changed the uh, tavern uh, name, so we can get two for that. We own four tables, oh, and we've just completed our research. Uh, we own eight benches, and we finished some research. 
So all of these will refresh uh, tomorrow. Oh, kitchen instructions. Congratulations on unlocking the kitchen. Here's 800 coin bonus, so you have enough money to build it. That's, that's nice. So we need to build the kitchen, buy a counter, a plate shelf, and a crate, and then hire a chef. So, where are we going to put our kitchen? I think, I mean, it makes sense to put it behind the, uh, the bar here, doesn't it? Really? So, let's give ourselves a floor texture. We'll go with that for the kitchen. And we'll stick with this for everything else. Uh, we'll put some walls in. Like that. Um, I'm also going to put a wall in there. And... Nope, that's not the one I wanted. That was silly of me. I wanted that one. Yes. Okay, now kitchen we need a plate shelf oh come on turn around there we go uh, I'll put the plate shelf in the corner there uh, I'm going to put the counter right up against the door like that I think hopefully that will work uh, and then we have our um, storage box for food there. Okay, that's all good. We have a kitchen, so... Oh, we can uh, level up Rosalind again. Um, yeah, more drinks, please, Rosalind, now. Thank you. Uh, and we want to hire ourselves a chef. What have we got? Um, you're good at desserts. You're very good at desserts. You suck. Uh, you get a coin bonus for every dessert served. Yes, we're going to go for you, Randall. You are our chef. Okay. We need to move our... Oh, thank you. That's the end of the day. We lost 75, but we did build a kitchen. Okay, so... Uh, you, I think, we are going to need to move you, aren't we? No, nope, I don't want to do that. I want to move you. No, come here. Thank you. Um, spin you around, and we'll put you in, like... That? Is that going to be better? Let's hope that's better. Um, staff. Chefs. Right. Randall, you're our man. Okay, I don't know why this is being... Ah, no, I do know why this is being a problem. Obviously, there's a bloody wall in the way. Because I... Am an idiot. Uh, let's put that in there like that. Okay, let's try that one more time. Hire a chef, Randall. Thank you very much. Now you aren't going to bother with main courses or soups, partly because we can't actually make them yet. So, uh, are we full of food? We are full of food. Well, we're not full. We've got a decent amount. Um, so, yeah, the, this is where we store our food. We have to obviously fill it up uh, when we can. Um, at the moment, it's basically got stuff in there to make desserts. That's all we can make. So, our research is complete, obviously. We need to choose our next research. I think we're going to go for lemonade. Uh, lemonade, then... Uh, additional guests, I think. And then we'll go for the musicians after that, maybe. Um, yes, I'll have to. In order to get to, to special events, I'll have to go for, for uh, musicians. So, let's start the next day and see how we do. Um, we have two gold. Which, obviously, not ideal. Uh, we still have plenty of, of, of beer and water. Obviously, we can refill... Uh, as and when. Water's fine, because that's free to uh, refill. Uh, beer is obviously going to cost us 31 gold, which we don't have currently. But we will soon. Hopefully. So we're waiting for somebody to order food. Okay, so I've hired another waitress and uh, adjusted their um, priorities. And we are ordering and making food now. So our desserts are being served. 
Uh, let's have a look at our goals. We need to serve 20 customers. Okay. Buy a fire extinguisher. That would be a good idea. Uh, own more benches. Buy any ingredient 50 times. Let's buy ourselves a fire extinguisher. I think that's in special. It's not in special. It is in special. Okay, fire extinguisher. We will put... Uh, where will we put that? Yes, we'll put that there for now. Okay, which means... I can claim that. I can claim 100 gold. That's nice. Okay. So we'll spin on till the end of the day now. Uh, and we'll see how we do in terms of profit or lack thereof. Or we could wait until our research completes. So let's have a look. We have lemonade. So seven guests a day is the next one. Or an additional seven guests a day. How much is it going to cost us to get lemonade? 200. And 150 to fill. And we can, in fact, refill the beer as well while we're at it. So we will do that. Uh, and obviously we can refill the water anytime. So that's wiped out a lot of our profit. But we are still making money. Um, and it looks like it might at some point be an idea. I say at some point it will definitely be an idea. But at some point soon it might be an idea to extend this a little bit. Oh, thank you. That's the end of the day. And we made nine coin profit. And that's with refilling all the barrels and buying the uh, fire extinguisher and the additional barrel. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, we did hire, as I say, another uh, waitress. Um, we can't really do anything. Oh, serve 20 customers. We can grab that. Okay. Next day. So we're down to seven coin again, because obviously we paid uh, wages. But uh, you come in for breakfast? You've come in for breakfast, haven't you? Excellent. Right. We'll spin on until... Oh, we've got a level up. Look at that. Immediately. Who's leveled up? Randall. Good on you. Uh, what are we going to increase for you? I mean, desserts is probably the best thing. Just keep maxing that out. Yeah, um, that's fine. Nobody else has leveled up. We have our new quest. Sif serve 51 customers. Okay. And prepare cream, cream rolls nine times. And we've just unlocked our additional customers. So we'll start the musician's research. Yeah, we really do want to start expanding the, the seating, I think. Um, we'll just make sure that everybody is doing okay. Let's see who we've got. Oh, we've got Merlin. Hello, Merlin. Um, and your friend. Oh, we've got a religious outing as well. A, a nun and a monk coming out for... I hope that's water, sister. Uh, whoa, a whole table full of... Three monks and an executioner. That's a joke, isn't it? That's got to be a joke. Um, that's an impressive eyebrow. Just the one. Oh, and you got your... Oh, dear, oh, dear. Can't control anything here. Uh, it looks like your brother is on the other side of the table. Good, 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 good. Right, we are making money. So, I want to look at... Where are we? Decorations. What can we do to make things a little prettier around here? We can put a shelf in. Hooray. Uh, we have some plant pots, which I think we will put in. Let's put one there. And we'll put another one there. So that will increase our uh, prestige a little bit. Uh, and that's really all we can afford now. Okay, it's a little better. Not much, but a little bit. So... Oh, we got another level up. Ada, you've leveled up. Um, let's speed you up, I think. Because uh, you're focusing on food rather than drinks. So we need you to be a bit quicker. Right, and we will spin on until our research is done or until the end of the day, whichever happens first. Okay, there we go. End of day four. And we made 266 gold. Um, nobody left angry. That's nice. Uh, we had 100% occupancy, so we could certainly um, get away with adding more tables, I think. 
Um, in fact, we can probably do that now. If we just oops, move things along a little bit, uh, we can at least put in... Oops, no, yeah, thank you, thank you. There. Like so. So that at least gives us another table. Um, our barman Johnny and um, one of our, I think it was Ada, our barmaid, uh, both leveled up yesterday. So I've increased the number of drinks that they can uh, um, that they can carry. So hopefully that will increase serving times. So let's spin on a little bit longer. We'll try and unlock um, the special events, which is the the next thing on the research. As you can see. Our musicians are almost unlocked. We have one more customer to any, any second now. Uh, and then we'll go for special events because that... There we go. Because that is going to get us a lot more useful stuff. Right, how are we doing on here? We need one more cust uh, two more customers to unlock that. We haven't made any cream rolls. Uh, we need one more bench. And we need to buy some ingredients. There's a point. We are suddenly missing ingredients. What are we missing? Wheat. Let's buy a bunch of wheat, shall we? And we'll buy a bunch of fruit as well to... There we go. That will do for now. How are we doing for drinks? We're fine for drinks. Um, I am going to put in that other table, though, I think. 179, that's enough. So... There we go. So, there we go. We can, we can serve more customers now. Um... Nobody appears to be waiting for anything. No, I think we're good. Right. Come on, we need money. So what I'll do is... I, oh, we've unlocked something. Customers. And benches. Oh, one more and we can do that. Okay. So I will spin on until we've built up a bit of money because we're going to need to expand this, I think. Uh, and I think coming out this way is is the best bet. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to spin until we've got a bit of money in the bank, and then I'll expand the uh, the pub a little bit. Right then, we have unlocked the events. Uh, here's how they work. You click on the events button, click the plus button, choose an event, click to confirm it, and then wait for the event to come. So... If we have a look at that, let's pause that. Uh, oh, we've got a level up. Randall, you've leveled up. Well done. Um, desserts. There we go. Um, and I think I'll just up his salary a little bit, just to keep him happy. Um, so our next bit of research, I'm going to go for adventures. And we'll come back to that when we figure it out. Over here, uh, I've done that. So we can unlock a floor tile. And we've bought an ingredient 50 times so we'll do that now we have not a lot of gold so i'm going to let it play on until we've again built up uh, a reasonable amount of gold so i can expand uh, the tavern um, i'll probably come back at the end of the day we'll see how we do okay then we are at eight o'clock in the evening and we have hopefully enough money so let's have a look um floor texture we want Wood. Um, and I'm just going to expand like that, I think. Nice and simple. Uh, we'll bring our walls around if I can afford them. No, I do not have enough money. Okay, well, we'll spin on so we have more money. Okay. Spun on for a couple of days. Um, I've expanded the bar area, as you can see. Um, I'm just about to have enough money to put in uh, the musician's stand. There, we have enough money to put in the musician's stand. So I'm going to do that. Where are we? It's under special. There it is. And we will put it... Let's have a look. Where's roughly central? I suppose it's about there, isn't it? Um, yeah, like so. 
Uh, now, obviously, we can hire musicians should we wish to. 50 gold a day gets us one musician. Um, increases the wait time on the floor. Um, so they'll wait 10 seconds longer uh, to be served, to get their drinks, and so on. Um, and it will attract seven more customers a day. Really, at the moment, that's probably about what we can afford to do. So we'll give it a go. Um, uh, we'll take the band towards crowd. Yeah, that's fine. So we can either have them sort of facing the crowd or whichever way the podium is set up. So that will happen tomorrow. Oh, we have our... This is our menu, by the way. Um, each of the dishes that we have, we can gain experience making and then we can level them up. Uh, which means we can charge more for them. So our fruit bowl here currently is 19 gold or 19 coins uh, per bowl. We can now sell it for 24, so that will help. Uh, we also have a... Ah, our barman has leveled up. Well done, Johnny. There you go. You can carry more drinks. Uh, nobody else has leveled up there. What have we got here? Uh, we can claim that. Which means we can claim that, which is excellent. That gives us another 150. Which means we can actually fill up our uh, food. How's our beer doing? Oh, beer's not good. Uh, refill the beer. Uh, and that has skinted us. So we're 271 down. Less than ideal. I'll probably fill the water as well while I'm here, shouldn't I? Okay, our lemonade is running low, so that will be a priority tomorrow. But we will leave it there. Oh, no, we won't leave it there. Oh, dear, what is wrong with you? Why are you unhappy? Give you some more money. How's that? That's not really helping, is it? Okay, well, just, just don't be miserable. Okay, but we will leave it there for this episode. I'll, I'll, I'll probably come back for one or two more episodes. There, there isn't... Uh, a huge amount to this game at the moment. This is basically it, but we build it up and we can modify it and put decorations in and so on and so forth. And, you know, we can get quite a busy uh, tavern going on and hotels and takeaway and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, so there's, you know, it's worth doing. Uh, it's worth looking at. It's fairly cheap on Steam at the moment. Um, standard price, as I say, is, is, is about £12 in the UK. Um, and it's a fun diversion. It's not particularly complicated, uh, but it's it's an interesting little game. So I'll probably come back for maybe one or two episodes of this. I'm not going to go in for a full series of it. Uh, but let me know what you think. Have you played it? Would you play it? What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Uh, until next time, please do give us a like and a subscribe. Please do uh, let us know what you think down below. Please do all the YouTube stuff, you know. Uh, and a fire has broken out. That's less than ideal. But we'll leave that until next episode. Will we? No, we better do it now, hadn't we? Where is it? Where's the fire? Who's set fire? Oh, you've set fire to that. Uh, well, you're right there, so... Put out the fire, please. There we go. Uh, some of the furniture burnt in the fire. Do you want to sell it all and buy new for 150 gold? Yes, I suppose I'd better. Right, but as I was saying... Please do give us a like and a subscribe. I'll pause it just in case anything else bursts into flame. Uh, please do give us a like and subscribe. Uh, please do give us comments down below. And until next time, thank you very much for joining us. I've been John. This has been Tavern Master. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye.